Are we ready? Yeah. What a sight this is. As my mother would have said, a sight for sore eyes, definitely. A thousand women gathered here on the steps of the concert hall to lodge a women's pledge in Glasgow. How fantastic is that? I would like, uh, I'd like the world to see, the people who are taking photographs and all of that at the moment, I would like them to see if uh, the, they should be aware, this is not an insurgency, right? <laughs> this is a democratic movement. <laughs> These are thousands and thousands of people here in Glasgow and across Scotland exercising their democratic right to elect the people that they want to elect to Westminster. At the moment, we live in difficult times, whereas I think the hard hats have to be on. And if we thought the fires of hell had rained down on us over the last week, just wait. But guess what? We're ready for you. We won't get fooled again. Not again. This is wonderful. I want to say a huge shout out. Hey, not again. I have been totally upstaged. And I'm furious. I had really important stuff to say here. And then you were getting a big build up. Right, right, turn round. Good on, you've not arrived yet. I've got to say a huge shout out to all the women who've travelled from all over Scotland to be here today. I want to say a huge shout out, if you turn the cameras that way, to all those brilliant supportive men who are, who are also here, who are hopefully watching the wings and making the tea, and who've driven us here. And this, I'm going to introduce this wee woman here. Hey, sister. Turn round. This is Sister Elizabeth, who is 84. I hope you don't mind me saying that. Although she said she turns it round the other way and says 48. Who got up at 20 to 7 this morning and got a bus from Creef to here to be here at this day. Fantastic. Go stay here. Brilliant. Uh, you've upstaged Nicola, it's quite good. Um, so here we are, this is a magical, wonderful day. Um, I'm proud, privileged to be here, and also to introduce a great, a great star now of the political movement. You never thought you'd hear that in Scotland, did you? Uh, both Nicola and I are very, very big fans of Borgen, I have to say. And for a couple of years I've been calling her our very own Borgen. So please, the Borgenister, here she is. Please welcome the fabulous Nicola Sturgeon! she belongs to Glasgow and it's particularly wonderful to look out and see no offense guys so many women here today because today is the day we put women 
at the heart of this general election campaign. I'm asking you today to sign the SNP Women's Pledge and my pledge to you is that the SNP at Westminster will put women and gender equality right at the heart of the Westminster agenda. We'll campaign for better childcare, better education. We'll campaign to put an end to the Tory austerity and the Tory welfare cuts that are hurting so many women across our country. And we'll campaign for greater gender equality so that all of these wonderful wee girls that I look out and see here with us today do not any longer have to fight the battle for fair and equal pay, for fair and equal representation because we are determined in our generation to win those battles for them. I, I am so deeply privileged to stand here today as the first woman First Minister of our country. And I, I want to make sure that every day I am privileged to hold this office, I work to ensure that every woman, every wee girl across this country gets the chance to do what I have done and follow their dream. If you are good enough, if you work hard enough, no glass ceiling should ever hold you back. So I, I look out here today at so many of our wee girls and I want to say to each and every one of you, if you want to be First Minister, if you want to be a brain surgeon, a top lawyer, whatever it is you want to do, follow your dreams because you can do it. So that's my, that's my message to all of you here today. But I've got a wider message today too. And this one is for all of Scotland. We stand now less than two weeks away from a historic general election. On May the 7th, we have the opportunity to make Scotland's voice heard at Westminster more loudly than it has ever been heard before. I pledge to you that the SNP will make Scotland stronger at Westminster. We will stand up for an end to austerity, for the protection of our public services, for a stronger economy. And we will stand clearly and say this with no equivocation. 100 billion pounds, if the country has it to spend, should be spent not on nuclear weapons, but on building a better future for our children. That, that is the opportunity that lies before us. I want today to thank each and every one of you and the thousands more across this country who are campaigning in this election to make Scotland's voice heard. It is down to you, not to me, it is down to you that the SNP today stands within touching distance of doing something we have never done in our history winning a Westminster election in Scotland. But in order, in order to do that, we must work each and every moment between now and 10 o'clock on the evening of May the 7th to win, earn and keep the trust of the Scottish people. We must say to everybody across this country, if you want your voice to be heard, then even if you've never voted SNP before, even if you didn't vote yes in the referendum, vote SNP now to make Scotland's mark and make our voice heard. 
That is our message. So I ask, I ask all of you, every day between now and polling day, to do whatever you can to make sure we win as many votes as we can and send as many SNP MPs to Westminster as we can. Please, whether it's knocking the doors or putting out the leaflets, stuffing the envelopes, whatever it is you can do, please, please do it. If we work as hard as we have ever worked before, then we can make this momentum unstoppable. And on May the 7th, if we, if we work hard enough to win this election, then it will not be a victory for the SNP, it will be a victory for Scotland. Thank you very much indeed.